I'm sure you guys saw, I mean, every headline that you see. I'm reading one from the Daily Beast right now. It says, Roseanne Barr recancels herself <laughs> because she said nobody died in the Holocaust. No oh boy. Is that what she said? Yes. But I have, so there's a clip floating around now that's about 90 seconds where she says basically that um, uh, nobody died in the Holocaust, although, it, you know, they should or something to that effect. Mm -hmm. But if you listen to the entire segment, because she was on a podcast with Theo Vaughn, the comedian Theo mm -hmm. Vaughn. Yep. And if you listen to the entire segment, which, you know, that's why I hate headlines, because you see this headline and you're like, oh, my God, yeah. what, what is this? Yeah. And you listen to the audio, you're like, oh, good God. Clickbait has led to us taking so many things out of context. But if you really listen to it in context, I want to get I want both of you to listen to this carefully. And if you're watching right now on YouTube, you can see the video. I want everybody. She's, she is Jewish. Yes. I want everybody to listen to this in its full context what they're discussing, and tell me if you understand what she's saying. Okay. And if it's ever appropriate to even say these things. Okay. So here is the entire clip of Roseanne on with Theo Vaughn uh, from yesterday. I, when I ran for president in 2012, one of my uh, platform things was I will outlaw bull Yeah. <laughs> because, you know, and I know that, that... By the way, can I just say one side topic? Does anybody remember her running for president in 2012? No, no. <laughs> no. But I, I do love, love the fact that she's burning a heater as she's doing this interview. <laughs> yeah, she's smoking a cigarette for yeah. those of you who don't know what burning a heater means. Yeah. Anyway, we continue. That horrified people because what will I do now? Right. They're addicted to it. They'd rather have that than food or a happy Actually, let me, let me start over. Bad job by me for not uh, for interrupting it for that dumb comment. <laughs> Here we go. I, when I ran for president in 2012, one of my uh, platform things was I will outlaw bull Yeah. <laughs> because, you know, and I know that that horrified people because what will I do now? Right. They're addicted to it. They'd rather have that than food or a happy family. They're so addicted to their f***ing bullshit. True, huh? But, you know, comics, I think, we're the less free speech art form. And as long as we're performing, things end as bad as they could be. You know? I think that's true. As long as we're performing, things aren't as bad as they could be. Yeah. And that's always been the case throughout time, like with jesters or with yeah. people that we try and speak up and share. There's always been a ceiling on, on speech, hasn't there, in a way? Of course. Nobody wants to hear the real truth. They're horrified. Now. They're ready to go with bullshit. It's easier. And uh, like for the real truth that, you know, and I'm glad that they did set up all these guidelines so that we only are allowed to speak the truth. And the truth is that Biden got 81 million votes by winning 36 counties. And that is just incredible. It really, really is. And um, that of these 81 million supporters who gave him more more votes than any president has ever gotten before. He came with a mandate from these 81 million voters. And, uh, you know, I I'm just glad that they were very careful to make sure that nobody could um, detract from that proven truth. You know what I mean? Like, what do you mean? Like that nobody... That they mandated that that was the truth and that nobody could say, well, what about no? Oh, it was made a mandate. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. So let me just stop it for you. So mm -hmm. you hear what she's trying to like. She's being sarcastic and saying that mm -hmm. you, you can't say that the election was rigged because right. of course he got eighty-one million votes in thirty-six mm -hmm. counties. Yeah. So yep. she's she's so if you hear that you're like wow she she agrees that it wasn't rigged that the election wasn't rigged but mm -hmm. she's actually saying the opposite just Correct. In a sarcastic very way. sarcastic so we understand everything right now right yes okay. the only thing i would disagree with her on is i don't think comics are the last bastion of free speech i i think kind of what we do here is kind of the last bastion of free speech. because Thank comics you. get canceled yeah like sure. her well radio show hosts do as well well that's Nick. true <laughs> which, is, which is why i don't want you guys to do tweet so much anyway we continue we continue so the government made it a mandate? Yeah, because, you know, YouTube did, and so did uh, all oh, the social... Oh, so you can't speak? You can't even speak on that in those platforms? No, you can't say, you know... That it wasn't. You can't say that, like, you know, the there election was the election. Was rigged or, yeah, right. that's all a lie. The election was not rigged. 36 counties can give you 81 million votes. Right. 
That's a fact. So it wasn't rigged? Of course not. <clears throat> yeah. 36 counties have 81 <laughs> million people in them. Yeah, 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 See? Yeah. That's the truth. And yeah. don't you dare say anything against it or you'll be off YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and all the other ones because we have, you know, there's such a thing as the truth and facts and we have to stick to it. And, um, you know, it's scary. And that is the truth. And nobody died in the Holocaust either. No. That's the truth. Yeah. It should happen. It, Six million Jews should die right now because they cause all the problems in the world, but it never <laughs> happened. But it never happened. Yeah. Mandated. Well, you're, because you're part Jewish, right? Part of your family's Jewish? I'm all Jewish. You're all Jewish. 100%. With, and a lot of Hollywood is Jewish, yeah? It's like a, it's like, a lot of Hollywood is a Jewish business, really. Well, they started Hollywood. Yeah. Right. But so was it weird Just that like rap. Black people started rap. Yeah. So I wouldn't go over there and try to get in rap and go, all these black people, you know, go on Saturday Night Live like Dave Chappelle. Uh, I'm just saying a lot of black people are in control of rap. Right. Hello. Well, you went there. You yeah. try to get in show business. Of course it's Jewish. But, you know, and people should be glad that it's Jewish, too, because if Jews were not controlling Hollywood, all you'd have was fishing shows. Yeah. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I'm sorry. <laughs> it's almost as if oh, the entire funny. segment there was reverse sarcasm. Right? Well, that's the, so that, <laughs> that is the issue. And, yes. and if you don't play it like Stalker did you in its entirety, yeah, I, I can see why people only see the Holocaust part <laughs> and start freaking out. Well, well, let me let me so let me ask you guys a question. She, she was obviously being sarcastic. Yes. yes. Obviously being sarcastic. Is was is even that sarcasm wrong? Well, it, it's not I don't think it's wrong because again, I am of the belief that when you're in the presence of somebody putting on a comic show or somebody that's a comedian or in that moment they're still doing somewhat of a performance on a podcast, you have to be prepared for the fact that you're going to say things that are cringe worthy, but we have lost the ability to pick up on sarcasm. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. e and I'm not just talking about in this context, you could send somebody a text message or put out a tweet. And I think some people will pick up on your sarcasm, but not everybody does. And then you're the one who's held liable for somebody else not being able to truly identify the sarcasm. And that's what, and to be honest, that's what drives me nuts about cancel culture. Yeah. Like, no, of course I don't really mean that. Yes, six million people died. And I got to tell you this? I got to explain it to you? Really? Even the ADL came out and said that, you know, condemned what she said. And not, I, I think, I think what the ADL, their point is, yo, Roseanne, even though you're a Jewish woman, I think everybody, I think anybody of, with any level of intelligence who just heard that knows that she's a Jewish woman saying something that's so over the top, that's mm -hmm. so sarcastic. It was the most over the top thing she, as a Jewish American woman, could think of to say. Right. Which was the point Which of is it. the point. Correct. So basically the fact that this headline has come out basically proves her point. Mm -hmm. People are just really idiots and don't even listen to something in context. Well, it's, well because they have no attention span anymore. And they just, like to Greg's point, they just see the headline or they just click on the small 12-second version of a minute and a half clip or whatever it might be. But also, I think you have to come to the realization that there are some people out there that, yeah, they, they probably do know it's sarcasm, but they just want to make your life miserable mm -hmm. and they just want to rant and rave and vent about it and get you uh, destroyed you know, yeah. on, on social media. But the other thing, too, about comedians that makes the great ones great is when they are ridiculing their own ethnicity or their own religion or their own gender like mm -hmm. Chappelle and Chris Rock I mean some of their best material is when they rail on black people and you can get away with that because you're black just mm -hmm. like Roseanne I think in this context even though some people are mad about what she said I would say no Roseanne can get away with it why because she's Jewish yeah right but the ADL came out and said Sarcasm or not, Roseanne Barr's comments about Jews and the Holocaust are reprehensible and irresponsible. This isn't funny. And also they said shame on Theo Vaughn for letting it go unchallenged. It's kind of, in truth, I think it's the reason why even on this show 
when we're sarcastic, we'll go, not that we really think we're sarcasm. Mm-hmm. Because That's why we say that. Yeah. Because if you say, if Theo Vaughn had said, obviously Roseanne is being sarcastic. Yeah. If he had even said those words, mm-hmm. that would have given cover, which is ridiculous right. that we have to do that. But yeah. that's, this is the world, the upside down world we live in. Yeah, like sometimes if you post something on social media that is sarcasm, you almost feel compelled to put in parentheses, sarcasm fart, yeah. just for the for the dopes out there that mm-hmm. don't get it. Any um, 91 LSXer on YouTube uh, says that this is an old clip. She like she went on with Theo Vaughn a month ago. All mm-hmm. the headlines, though, are from yesterday. So I'm wondering oh, interesting. why all of a sudden now they are coming to light and it, there's this outcry over i mean like it, it's yeah. literally like mm-hmm. there's there's all kinds of you know the, the, you know roseanne says the holocaust never happened but jews should die i mean that's that's basically every headline mm-hmm. and you read the headline and you're like oh god yeah. that's terrible right no like that that is the most god awful thing you could say mm-hmm. Yeah, it's weird. It was released June fourteenth, okay, so and then fourteen days ago, and then just yesterday afternoon, Theo Vaughn wrote. Here's the full clip of Roseanne Barr, obviously yeah. using sarcasm and satire. She's a mensch and one of the funniest people I've ever met. Okay. So, uh, by the way, breaking news: uh, we got a donation. Uh-oh. Yay! Uh-oh. A nine dollar donation. Yeah. So Speaking we're, of a mensch, we'll Thank round you. it up. Thank you. There you go. Who uh, can can we give? Credit to it somebody. says it says Sid. I don't know if that's our buddy Sid oh, Weiss. Or thank you, Sid Weiss. Of course it is. Yeah. It's a mensch. By the way, Soggy Donuts brings up a very good point. What do you think Theo Vaughn is funny, Nick? He's okay. Although I, I must say, I didn't find Roseanne, and I'm not offended by anything she said. I didn't find that bit that we played there to be that funny. Yeah. I, the fishing line. Come the on, fishing, that was yeah, the funny. Line, but for the rest of it, I'm just like, okay, yeah. yeah. Well, I think that she, the rest of it, I think she's ta- she's speaking in a political way. I don't think she meant to be funny. She meant to be sarcastic yeah. and was talking about her frustration with with um, society. And she maybe if Tony Bruno, who I know is upcoming, <laughs> would take a, a little lesson from Roseanne. Yeah. If she spoke on this podcast and said things like, we have to stop the steal and the election yeah, yeah. was stolen, maybe... She would have been canceled yeah. on social media, and they would have barred the. Po- so well, she's speaking in code. Mm-hmm. I'm sure she'll, uh, Bruno will have some thoughts because Bruno used to do a show with Roseanne's ex-husband, Tom um, Tom Arnold. Arnold. Yeah, so I mean, maybe that's you know what everybody has to do: speak in code. It's all just silly. Uh, uh, speaking of silly, real quick, that yeah. that donation from Sid for nine dollars—that's great and all, but um, this is going to get to Greg in oh, yeah. his most. Uh, Oh, vulnerable no. spots yeah, here. Yeah. Uh, that brings us to a total of four thousand five hundred ninety-nine dollars and eighty-seven cents, or thirteen cents short of forty-six hundred. Are you kidding? So Sid did nice work, oh, but now he God. just made Greg's life worse. Oh my God! See, it's the positive and the negative of all this. Oh, uh, Sid. Yeah. Uh, somebody can can we get 13 cents from somebody by the way if you're just tuning in now it's all for charity uh for the bend to yes. shore families behind the badge children's foundation we're raising money by july 23rd when nick pedals 65 miles to the attempts to jersey shore it's all for that charity we're trying to raise five thousand dollars we're like four hundred dollars away but now apparently we're 13 cents away from forty six hundred dollars. right right uh digital av 2 says you don't joke about the holocaust what what are your thoughts on never using that? Agreed. As a, okay. So you, Agreed. So you say Holocaust off limits in all contexts yep. of all comic. Yep. Wow. Okay. I do. Just don't even go there. But I, I can see why it bothers some people. It doesn't but, bother me personally, but. No, it, I, you know. I, just, I understand the context of comedy. Like, I, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm wired where I, I can separate reality from fantasy like, you know, there was times last week where I made a joke or two about the Titanic submersible. And people, oh, it's too soon, too soon, too soon. Yeah. I'm like, it's a joke. But I think that the re- – so here's the thing. I think the reason we we as a society obsess with it and Hitler and the Holocaust and so on was it It was the most – it was the most horrific thing. It was yes. Absolutely. so horrible. Yeah. And I think she, as a Jewish American woman who probably has, uh, you know, members of her extended family – and and all of us, whether you realize it or not, there are people in this building right now who have relatives who were murdered in absolutely, the Holocaust. Absolutely. So so I think that for her, 
as a Jewish American woman, what she is saying is, this is the worst thing I could say when I'm using sarcasm to make a, a, a serious political point. Mm-hmm. And she's, a, she's speaking seriously about the problem with our politics and our media. And so I think in her mind, that's where she's going. I think in that moment, she wasn't trying to be funny. She was trying to make a, an, you know, an exclamation point. But I will say, just as a general rule, it, even in conversation, even though it's the most horrible thing that you could, you know, take it to that level, don't just get it out of your mouth, yeah. out of your brain yeah. in an analogy, because it's always, it's hor- it's horrible. I, I Look, I, when it comes to comedy, I have a really, really dark sense of humor. I, I find I find it's easier to joke about things, to cope with them, than... Yeah, that's uh, kind of how I am. ...than not. So, like, not really, honestly, nothing offends me. However... I'm not Jewish, so for me to say that a Holocaust joke doesn't right. offend me right. is is like I I I would never say that because what is offensive to somebody else is not offensive to me. Correct. It doesn't make one right or wrong. Yep. But I'm not I'm not Jewish, so I can't sit here and say, well, everybody should just lighten up because mm-hmm. of the Holocaust. You know, like it. Uh, it hits know, home different for certain people. It does. Absolutely. It does. I agree. Um, but I just wanted to. The reason <clears throat> me I played that was not me agreeing with Roseanne one way or another. Mm -hmm. It was just to put the whole thing in context because if you just read headlines, it looks like she just came out and just said that Mm -hmm. and was serious Mm -hmm. and you're like, oh God, this is terrible. Well, that's the problem with social media and the internet today. Yeah. It's just all, it's all watered down to just what the main uh, quote is and everything's taken out of context because People just don't have the attention. I, I can't read it. It's 750 words, so I'm yeah. just going to read the 13 words in the quote. Yep. yep. Yeah, uh, 91 LSXer also says, Greg, it's like a cancer joke. Right. I, I don't have cancer that I know of. Right. So, like, a cancer joke to me might be funny. Somebody who's who it's not or who has it is not funny to. If one day I do end up getting cancer, it might not be funny to me anymore. So yep. 